Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing a build video. I never do these, but uh, I felt very inspired by this YouTube channel called Never Too Small. Basically what they do is they tour unique and special tiny homes and uh, they give you the floor plan, they give you a tour, they tell you exactly who it was built for and what it's used for. I really, really, really enjoy watching their videos. I started watching them when I moved into my apartment because I wanted like small space organization tips and I just stumbled across this channel and I was like, this is so freaking cool. The houses are awesome. I will link the channel in the uh, description if you guys wanna check it out, but I thought we would start this new like kind of tiny home series where I recreate the houses from the channel in The Sims. I normally wouldn't do this, but the houses are just so unique and so cute that they inspire the crap out of me and it just makes me wanna build. So we're gonna do the first one today and I'm very excited. I do have a Celsius today. I actually have it in my Yeti because I've been mixing them with orange juice and uh, yeah, my Yeti keeps it cold all day. So <laughs> it's a mango passion fruit Celsius with a splash of orange juice. I know, I know, I'm working on my mixology skill. But cheers, I'm very excited for this video today. So cheers, let's get into it. So here is the first house. It is an artist tiny beach shack in Australia, 30 square feet. It's so cute. I love the outside. I love the slanted roof. I know that we can do that in The Sims. So um, yeah, this is what we're going to be recreating today. Very excited um, to see if I can actually do it. Looking at it right now, I know we don't have that slanty window, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> what I like about these videos is they give you the floor plan, which helps me out a lot. And they give you a lot of different angles of the house. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to get into this today. All right, guys, here we are in the game. I chose a very tiny lot in Windenburg because the house on the video was kind of like a seaside house. So I picked a little tiny lot. Uh, next to the sea as well. I've already kind of done the outside floor plan. I knew this was gonna take me a while, so I thought I would do it off camera. So here is the front door. Um, this is going to be the living room area, and then we have the kitchen area, the bathroom, the stairs up to uh, the which is blah, 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 the bedroom. Sorry, I cannot talk. <laughs> One thing I really liked about this house is it had some very fun wallpaper on the outside or like a mural on the outside. I'm not really sure uh, how we're gonna replicate that, but um, I think we should probably do that last. Also, this is a tiny home, 100 tiles out of 100 tiles. We're like really cutting it close, but uh, you will get that skill building bonus if that is something that you're interested in. So let's get busy on the inside, shall we? There are no ceiling lights in this home. There is just a couple of wall lights. Uh, so let me go ahead and stick those on there. I, you guys are gonna have to forgive me. I have not like live builded. Oh my God, I can't speak. I just can't. <laughs> I haven't built a house in The Sims like live, like not a speed build, just like straight up recording myself. Uh, building in a long time, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I'm gonna stumble over my words a lot until I get my footing again, but it's all good. It's all good. I know y'all ain't gonna judge me, so we're vibing. I'm gonna try my hardest not to use CC so that everyone, so that everyone can have a chance to play with it and not have to replace a bunch of stuff. I know how frustrating that can be. Although a lot of this, like a lot of the CC that I have, <laughs> would work so perfect for this but it's okay it's okay we're gonna we're gonna get through it there's like a little reading nook under the stairs hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna be able to rep, rep, bleh, replicate that because it looks a little small under there but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out so inside there is tile throughout the entire place they're pretty large tiles they're kind of like they kind of look like this actually so i'm just gonna go ahead and place that and then on the walls it's just this like very light washed planks <laughs> light wash planks yeah i know what i'm talking about oh i think honestly that's a little it's a little dark but i feel like that'll work but let me keep looking okay 
Let's do these beautiful slats from Spa Day. I think that'll work nice. Also, if this is the first video that you're watching from me, I am not a good builder. Um, I don't have a lot of experience. It's definitely not my strong suit, so <laughs> please, please bear with me. Ugh, why do I feel like this isn't right? Maybe we should do these ones from Spa Day instead. What do we want to do first? I feel like we should probably do the kitchen first, just because like I'm not even sure if it's the right size or if it's going to fit. So the cabinets in the kitchen are, they're like the same color as the wall and they're very minimal. Actually, I think the, the dream home decorator counters with the drawer, the drawer would look better. Let's do that. This is actually a pretty good sized kitchen for a tiny home, I will not lie. <laughs> So above the counters, there is like this nice shelving like these. And then the refrigerator is a freaking mini fridge, which do we really want to just put a mini fridge? D this should be a house. You know what I'm saying? A real house with a real fridge. <laughs> So let's do, let's do the fridge from, from Snowy Escape. I'm just going to stick it right here. Of course, I'm going to have to do some modifications, you know, it's not going to be 100% the same, um, but it's okay. You get the gist, you get the idea. Oh, that's actually uh, very disappointing that, um, oh no, this fridge matches better. That Dream Home Decorator cabinets did not come with a matching fridge. Oh well. Okay, now let's throw a stove top. I'm going to use the one from Dream Home Decorator, of course. I'm just gonna stick it there, and then... There is, un under the shelf, there is some nice, some nice lighting. I'll try and find a brighter one. Oh, this one's very bright, holy moly. Well, that made the <laughs> shelves look all three different colors, which is kind of, Kind of unfortunate. Actually, they already look that way. Ooh, what about this? That'll do, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, right. We'll come back to the kitchen. I just wanted to get like the, uh, the essentials in there. Right here, we have a little dining area. There's also a nice dining area outside, I'm noticing, which is very, very adorable. It's just, uh, we just have like a plain rectangular white four-seater it kind of looks like this if I'm being honest but uh, th that one is way nicer this is for like outside <laughs> maybe we should do, do this one or oh this one from dream home decorator so nice what the heck uh, this house this house is just gonna be like purely dream dream home decorator I apologize if it wasn't dream home decorator it would purely be uh, CC. So it's better than nothing, you know? I think I'm gonna try and get it as close to the build as possible though. On this side, we have some cute little like, what do you call those things? Poofs? <laughs> ah, yes. The good old island living one. Mm hmm. That'll do. And then we've got this one from Spa Day. I'll, I'll take what I can get. Oh, <gasps> beautiful, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. So uh, there is a white one and a yellow one, but this doesn't come in yellow. Does this come in yellow? No. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. No worries. This one does. <laughs> okay, get out of here. So we've got this, this right next to it. Oh my goodness, look at this chair. That's really cute. See, I have all these kits, but I haven't like properly built in quite some time. So I haven't seen everything that came with the kits yet. <laughs> if they want a table to eat, then they can use the outside table. I really, really uh, enjoy the way that this looks like a big comfy like it looks like this, but oh my gosh, that's CC and I can't use that. Take a shot every time I say that's CC and I can't use that. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, all right, above here, there's a very cute little painting. 
Oh, we also have these very cute ones from, <laughs> you guessed it, Dream Home Decorator, baby. Uh, let's see what looks best. I think I'm gonna have to go with the freaking, whatever this is called, Monstera, Monstera plant leaf. <laughs> okay. On the table, there is just a very cute little flower arrangement. Um, there's this cute little uh, succulent and a glass, a glass, a glass thingy. Um, oh, I love this plant from Paranormal Things. Wow, Paranormal Things. Wow, y'all watch these before Paranormal Things yet? <laughs> we gotta do that one actually. It's just, it fits, it fits the vibes but I think we should put, probably put it in the center. Moving right along. Uh, so, <sighs> there is like a little seating, or yeah, a seating area underneath the stairs. I've seen some people do this before. What they do is they take a <clears throat> ottoman and they somehow Put it on a platform and it's like functional and everything i don't know how they do it but we're gonna we're gonna try yeah <laughs> i don't think it's possible guys at least i don't know how to do it um because all it wants to do is hop onto the platform but i don't want it to hop onto the platform so i wonder let's see if i delete the platform is everything gonna go all weird yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna work. So... I couldn't figure it out guys I'm so sad because I was like it's like one of the main parts of the house but um, I threw on some CC pillows here just to like fill in the area a little bit um, and then let me go ahead and add some shelves because there are a couple under the stairs here there we go. We made it cute with a couple of baskets. <laughs> From Dream Home Decorator, of course. Okie dokie. Well, now that this little area is pretty much done. Oh, we do need a rug in here though. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. The rug that's in the actual home is orange. Actually, we should change this cushion to match. It's like an orangey coat. Oh yeah, that looks really cute. I actually like that a lot. Okay, so let's try to find a rug that matches that cushion. <gasps> Wait, that's cute. It's a little bit of a weird shape, but I'm a fan. Shoot, that's nice. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh crap. I think we're gonna have to go with this, that one because the sizing was correct. Okay, let's do, let's do this one from the fitness pack. It has nice soft pastel-y colors which go well with the rest of the build. Okay, the bathroom, pretty straightforward. Counter, this sink is from Dream Home Decorator. I wonder what would happen if we stuck one of the end pieces next to it, if it would flow. Wow, it doesn't. It doesn't flow at all, actually. And then we can put some decorations on there. Um, on this side, we just have a shower. What does the shower look like? Looks like it might be a glass door. Yeah, so we can do like a little DIY shower moment. Gonna grab one of these wall showers. I think we should do... Looks like the university one is gonna work the best. I would use this glass divider by uh, from the mosquito pack, but it's just so bulky. Or 
there is this one from university, um, which actually might work better. Ooh, ooh, a cute little plant, like a eucalyptus plant or something would be super cute in the corner here. That's cute. I just put a little plant on top of a little stool. <laughs> little plant on top of a little stool. Everything is little, little, little. Um, let's see here. Do we want to put a mirror there? I think that might be cool. Okay, I think that the bathroom is officially done. Actually, no. The, the shelf needs to be cluttered a little bit. Fun fact. I hate cluttering. I don't know why. It's just, I just don't like it. So I try to clutter as little as possible. There we go. Nice and simple and beautiful. Okay, bathroom's done. Now, let's go ahead and head upstairs, shall we? So this isn't a two story. I am just using the roof, the slanted roof to get us uh, another story without it actually being a two story. I honestly don't know if this uh, functions normally because it looks like it's not, I don't know. It looks like it's not like fully enclosed and I'm not really sure why because it is but uh we'll, we'll see we'll see how our how our sim likes it when we test when we test it later oh i forgot there is a little um outdoor shower out here which i think is pretty cute um there's an, an entrance into the bathroom from the outside because uh it's meant to be uh used from when you come back to the beach from the beach i thought that was a pretty cute addition so we're just gonna stick that right there. There's actually a sink out there as well. I'm going to use this really nice one from Eco. I think it goes well out here. So upstairs is very plain. We just have a small desk, a bed, a chair, and some bookshelves, and that is it. The bed in the video is yellow. <laughs> Should we do a yellow bed? I don't know. Or that one. Dang it. I think we might have to go with this one. I like that a lot. It looks like the flooring is different up here. It looks like the flooring matches this. So let me switch that and then it's definitely not going to be exact. But hey, I'll take what I can get. I know that I don't have a desk exactly like that. So we're kind of just going to have to um, wing this one. <clears throat> This chair is super cute and it matches the bed so well. We have to use it. We have to, we have to, we have to. Let's get a nice rug up here as well. So this is what it looks like up here. <laughs> it's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh shoot, the half wall is too high. Okay, I'll bring that down. So we can put like a little chair by the window. Um, gosh, I wonder if this is gonna be functional. I'm very curious. I hope so, because I would really like to use this chair, in the, or chair, oh my God, this house in the future. <laughs> yeah, I'm also realizing that this bedroom doesn't have a, um, a dresser. That's all right though. Let's put a bookshelf and a desk and then I think we can call it a day. Or we can just do these cute little like storage units. They match the desk, which does make me happy. Okay, I think the bedroom is finito. Um, what else do we need to do? Downstairs, kitchen. What else do we need in the kitchen? We've got the stove. Oh, we need the oven. We need some clutter, you know what I'm saying? And then in this build, the cabinets are just a bunch of open shelves. So maybe we can just do these instead. Doesn't look bad. Well guys, I think that's everything for the inside. Let's go ahead and try to work on this outside. This is a lot of eco lifestyle and a lot of, ooh, a lot of dream home decorator. The aesthetics of this house, um, just the packs, the things that came with that pack, just, they just match the aesthetic. So, what are we 
gonna do about this giant mural? This house is just completely painted. So here's option number one. <laughs> Looking rather crazy. But if I'm being honest, I'm not really sure what else to do. It was one of the reasons why I wanted to build this house, but now that I'm like trying to recreate it, maybe I shouldn't have. I think this from the mosquito pack looks better. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, looks like mosquito came with some cool wallpaper. Don't know about that color, but <laughs> let's have a look, shall we? I mean, that's pretty close to what is on there now. Like what on, what's on the real one, you know what I mean? If we're gonna try to make it as close to the real thing, I'm thinking this might be it. It's funky, trust me, I know. But this is just how the house is. They have a water collector in the back. Oh, I love the way this glass panel looks. That's really cool. As for the rest of the home, like the outside, there is a bonfire pit right here. Alright guys, here we are, all finished. It looks really cute. It's like this like secluded little area. Um, the house that we based this on was an artist's retreat. A mental health uh, retreat, I guess. That's what she said. But, um, oh man, this is really nice. I, It's always different seeing your builds in this view. Um, yeah, it just looks really cool. So let me give you guys a tour. We have our little outdoor shower area for when we come back from the beach. Our outdoor eating area with this lovely view. Um, let's head inside to our tiny home. Hello! Here's our dining, uh, living. I just realized there's no TV, but I guess it's, it's probably for the best, right? <laughs> we have our little reading nook over there. Um, our kitchen simple but effective through here is the bathroom our shower looking real nice bada bing bada boom <laughs> oh i wonder where our sim went ah probably using the computer i would assume up the stairs we go to our bedroom oh he's not on the computer interesting oh shoot Oh, he's reading! Oh, that's really cute. This wallpaper is not supposed to be here. Uh, it actually doesn't look bad. Here, let me change it really quick. <laughs> oh, so if you change the wallpaper outside, it changes the wallpaper inside. Ooh, that is rough, eh? I guess we're living with this wallpaper upstairs. I don't hate it. I would just it rather not be there. <laughs> Oh, he's reading. That's so cute. I love that for him. And look at this view. Holy cannoli. Let's head back downstairs. This is really adorable. It's got a nice vibe. We go out this door. We've got a grill, a seating area. Head over here. Down the stairs again. <laughs> We've got this lovely bonfire pit. I'll pro I would probably like add like a bunch of fairy lights and probably some more plants, maybe a small pool. 
but overall I'm pretty satisfied. Let me see if the bed is usable. Functional. It is! Oh, fantastic. We love to see it. We love to see it! It's not even a freaking two-story house, but we made it, so... <laughs> I think that's pretty special. I wonder if, if these are usable. Let's see. Oh, they are! Oh, fantastic. Well, that's just great. That is awesome. <laughs> you guys enjoyed this build video I hope that you like the way that it turned out in the end I really did I'm actually quite satisfied I'm probably going to use it in a let's play in the future it's been really cool doing another build video though I hope that you guys enjoyed I love you so much and if you are new here I would mean the world to me if you would subscribe come join the family and if you would like follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok and I will see you in the next one bye